Welcome to the Random Trader 2022 and Beyond episode number eight. Let's get into the latest random Forex trade. And real quick, before we get started, the why of the Random Trader series. There's two reasons that I created the Random Trader video series, and it was designed, number one, to prove that you can enter a trade at any time, any direction, with no stop loss, and win, debunking the need for complex trade entry strategies. And number two, to emphasize that trade management is the key to Forex profits. Now let's get on with today's episode. Here we are on the charts. We took profit on the last trade. It was Euro USD. Let's look at the account history. There we are. It took a profit of $13.90. Again, every random trade we've taken so far has went into profit, and I suspect that will continue because as I tell you, the reason I'm doing this random trade, random Forex trade video series is that I want to show you it's all about trade management. It's not about when to enter at all. What I really want to do in the Forex industry is help extinguish and get rid of all of the brainwashing going on about how to do forex trading if you are enjoying the random forex trader video series and you are beginning to see the power of creating profits in the forex market it's even easier to get all of my daily profitable forex trades sent directly to your mt4 account frame you up from complex trade entry strategies and you can get your share of the automated forex profits check the link in the description area below or simply visit fxwithterry.com for full details now, back to the video. Now, let's come back to the trade terminal. We'll get ready to take our next random trade. However, I want to do just a little bit of analysis. I put a red line on the chart here where we originally did our random Euro USD sell trade. And what's interesting, let's see if I can draw a box around this. So, in this area here, we entered somewhere over on the left of this blue box and the price just went sideways. Now, what you'll notice is it eventually did go completely the opposite way. And we can measure here. It went as far as about 47 pips, about $50 or so against us. And then all of a sudden in the middle of the night last night, it jumped down here. We had set it at about, uh, a, I think it was about 10 or 15 pips. And it just barely reached that, took profit at the $13 plus that we made. And then what's interesting is if you look at the price right now, it's just hovering around that area. We got that one spike. Now let me zoom in here and I wanna talk about that price spike. That is, they call it bank or smart money manipulation. Because what's happening here is when the price is just going sideways, the banks need to first take out your stop losses. That's the reason I don't set a stop loss, because in this case, would I have set a 50 pip stop loss to only make $13.90 or whatever it was? Absolutely not. What I do is I let the market move in and out. If it gets too far away from me, I will recover it into break even or profit. We haven't got to a trade like that yet, because even though we're taking a random trade, you really can't miss the mark. And once in a while, a trade the price will just trend away from where you placed your order, whether it was buy or sell. It'll go against you, and I'll show you how to recover that. But right now, it's typically a waiting game. What happened was the price was hovering around here, and you can see they they shot down really hard to take out stop losses on the people that were guessing it was going long, and then they shot really hard the other way on people that were guessing it was going short and hit all of their stop losses. Now I would imagine, because if you look at this, sometimes they call what we're looking at here an order block, basically the banks and the, the hedge funds and the people that are trading billions and trillions of dollars to move the market like this, they are now getting ready to send it one way or the other. But that's only just general speculation. I'm not telling you that's going to happen, but that's my guess. I trade not caring, not caring what's going to happen. All I care about is my management, my trade management ability and skill set. 
So we're out of that trade. It's over. Let's go create another random trade entry. And I want you to watch something here. Some people think I'm faking this entire thing. Like I'm, I'm cherry picking that random trade. We are going to go over to the browser and I want you to notice the time in the lower right hand corner, 1.27 PM. I'm going to go to the browser. I'm going to copy my list of 28 pairs plus US 30 on a, uh, each one has a buy tag and a sell tag. So I'm going to copy these doing it in real time. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner, we're 128 PM in about 10 seconds. So let me copy this. We'll go over to random. Dot org. I'll go to list randomizer. I'm going to paste the list into the box, hit randomize, and you'll see if you're watching the time, I'm going to take a GBP AUD cell. One minute, or oh, it's one minute. It's actually, it's actually 128 and 32 seconds and GBP AUD cell. Let's go place that trade. If you would like to follow the random trader live and watch all of my trades in real time on your mobile device, tablet or desktop PC. You can do so completely for free. I give you direct access to all of the account login details at fxwithterry.com forward slash account login and you'll find a direct link in the description below. So get access, download the app or the software and follow the random trader live right on your mobile device. So here we are. Let's actually pull up GBP AUD. Here it is. I'm simply going to drag it to the active chart get rid of this and let's zoom back out a little bit or I'm sorry let's zoom in a little bit and again it was GBP AUD sell and we're at point one on the lot size I'm going to go ahead and hit sell random trade at uh, it says 20 29 and 18 seconds on server time that's that's 1 29 p.m. eastern time so let's just see what's going on. Now, we just took a sell. So let's actually kind of look and see where we think it's going to go. I'm going to tell you right now, most of the market from what I've seen, here it is Wednesday afternoon, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. We got some movement last night. All of my open trades closed. However, it's really been sideways. I'm looking at the one hour chart. Let's go up to the four hour and see what's going on here. Really, really going sideways. So who knows which way it's going to go. We got a moving average cross right here which indicates potentially a, a buyer's market, but that's all kind of random anyway. Really, really looks sideways. We'll just have to wait. Uh, some of these long wick candles, especially on the higher time frame, are indicating uh, bank or big money manipulation, pushing it down, taking out stops, pushing it down, taking out stops. And then, you know, potentially they're going to trend it one way or the other. We don't care because we're just going to manage. We're about 89 cents. There's a dollar in profit right now. If you were scalping, it's interesting that all of these random trades were taken before I even cut out, before I, before I even end this episode, we're usually already in profit by a couple dollars. So nonetheless, that's the trade. We're in the trade. I'm going to leave it there. And then in the next episode, I believe episode nine is next. We will look at whether this took profit uh, or whether I had to recover from a drawdown. We will just see. I'm letting you know this stuff. You can take random trades and if you can manage, you can be profitable. Look at the history here. I'm not getting rich, but let me tell you something. So we've made a total of $22.32 over three trades. Listen to me. There will be people watching this video, and if you're one of them, listen to me. If you're that person that says, well, that's not very much. That's not very much money. So bid more. I'm using this as an example. I'm bidding a dollar. I could bid $5, $7, $10, $20. I'm winning either way. The only difference by bidding more is it means you can't let it go too far into drawdown, and you haven't given yourself very much room to recover. Like, for example, if I did a hundred lots or if I did a hundred dollars per pip, I couldn't let it go too far against me before I had to start doing some crazy recovery techniques to get it to go in my direction. But with, I'm bidding a dollar and I certainly could bid a lot more, but with that level of lot size bid, it gives me plenty of room. If you come back here to the trade panel, I'm, I'm at 40,800% margin level. Like that's, that gives me plenty of room. So if you want to see me take a higher lot, higher lot size trade, let me know.
Tell me which currency pair you want me to trade. Tell me what the lot size is. Tell me whether you want to do a buy or a sell. Let's do it. Leave a comment below. I'll pay attention to the comments and we'll get into it. Otherwise, I'm going to continue to do these random trades, continue to ultimately manage my trades into profit and prove that Forex trading is not that hard. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next episode.